Hi everybody, I'm Ryan, and today we're going to talk about Force of Will. Specifically, Force of Will in Legacy, and how it totally shapes how Legacy is played, and how Legacy decks are built. So let's look at Force of Will initially. It's a 5-mana counterspell. 5-mana counter-target spell. However, you can exile a blue card from your hand and pay 1 life to be able to cast this card without its paying its mana cost. So in Legacy, you rarely cast Force of Will for retail, though it does happen occasionally. Instead, you want to be exiling a blue card, paying a life, and countering a spell. That feels like a pretty high cost. But think about the context of Legacy. Every single mana counts. All of the cards you're casting are incredibly powerful. So you're in a situation that your one mana and two mana cards can still be cast and still totally change the game while being protected from your opponent's very powerful cards. Specifically, all of the game-ending combos that exist in Legacy. If a card like Force of Will didn't exist, then consistent combo decks like Reanimator, Depth, Sneak and Show, and things like that would just take over the format. And even if you don't play Force of Will yourself, the fear of Force of Will is stopping people from playing those decks. But those decks are already so consistent that I think of them as like Force of Will check decks, especially Reanimator, where they just kind of check if your opponent has Force of Will. And if you do, normally you beat Reanimator. If you don't, you're going to lose Reanimator. But think about that game plan. I can play a turn one threat, or I can play a turn one draw spell to, to make my hand a little bit better, and I can still be protected from dying on turn one or dying on turn two, which allows me to attack the following turn rather than leaving up a card like Spell Pierce. Now, naturally, if you read the card, it requires us to play a lot of blue cards, which already goes along really, really well with the things that you want to be doing in Legacy. Things like Brainstorm and Ponder shape your hand so well, and especially when played alongside cards like Delver of Secrets. You can be attacking, be protected from these combos, and win pretty easily. Up until recently, these Force of Will Brainstorm decks have dominated Legacy, until Orcish Bowmasters got printed. Now you kind of don't have to play blue in order to win matches in Legacy, because Orcish Bowmasters is a little bit of a deterrent for Brainstorm decks and Ponder decks and stuff like that. Now the best decks that we're seeing are playing both these blue cards and Orcish Bowmasters, but because of the shell that you often have to play Force of Will in, Force of Will's popularity is going down just a bit. And I say just a bit because these decks still need to be protected from these combo decks. So playing into cards like Orcish Bowmasters is often worth it. That's just a quick analysis on why Force of Will warps Legacy. If you like these card feature videos, please let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.